Okay, hello everybody. Um, hello to my subscribers, to friends. Um, yes, well, I would hope, I hope subscribers, my friends. <laughs> Anyways, um, blessings to you all. Um, yes, you are looking at a mess right now, um, but I hope you can tell um, what this kind of is. Um, oh, I, sh I should have put this... I forget that. I actually made a video before and I thought to myself I should have kind of put this together so you could see what it is, um, but I didn't. But I'm sure for many of you, you can see, um, I hope, what this is, a harp. I am, yes, making a harp. Um, so it's really, really nice wood. Um, I've been doing some carving, as you can see. Um, well, there's the finish. Well, first, okay, this is what I'm working on right now. Right now I'm working on some carving. I'm carving a lion. A lion is very symbolic. A uh, lion of Judah, as well as the Lord, is referred to as a lion. And we also hear in the word um, the enemy being as like a lion, but the uh, the Lord as referred to a lion, he is, he is the most mighty. He is, um, he is awesome in all his power, for he is... Mr. Mighty One, he's the Almighty. So, um, this is like, uh, this is, this is a line of, of righteousness and, and not one of, of evil. Um, I see it as like a representation of the Lion of Judah and also as of the Lord. And I've got some penciled out designs here, a lamb, um, menorah, the temple, um, angel wing, uh, palm branch, um, Yeshua Hashem. Now, the thing is, okay, so this might change, because I have a thing about changing things, um, but as far as I know, this is where it's going to be, and so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling at the moment, because I'm trying to think what else I was going to tell you. Yes, now I know. This, this is what I have done so far on, this is one side of the harp. Um, it has already I've done some carving and some wood burning, um, and I might add another verse here, I'm not sure if I'll put this on here or the next panel over here. But um, I'll read you this in just a second. And um, some leaves, also another angel wing, a um, pomegranate, almond blossom, and kadosh. Now the reason, the significance I wanted to share with you that I have kadosh on this side, and... Um, can't see it yet, but I'm going to put the Lord's name on that side, is because the priest um, had, uh, it was written, um, oh, wow, I'm g I don't want to like give you the wrong information because I can't remember sh for sure, I'm sure somebody out there, um, one of my subscribers can correct me on this, but um, if it was the adornment, or uh, I believe it was, that was on the um, priest that was written, set apart for the Lord, holy for the Lord, Kadosh for the Lord. And so that was my plan. This is an instrument that my prayer, um, that will be used to, um, to be set apart for the Lord, to bring glory and holiness and worship to Him. And this verse here that I have here in Hebrew, um, it is from Revelations chapter 15, um, which is this, is the song of Moshe and the song of the Lamb. Um, a rough translation, not perfect, but, um, of course you can always look it up for yourself. But great and wonderful are your works, O Lord, King of hosts. Righteousness and truth are your way, um, King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord? And and not and and uh, basically the, this concept of who will not fear you and and not give um, glory to your name, for your um, for you your ways are holy. Um, all the nations will come and worship before you. And, um, uh, again, my translation is rough, but like, for your judgments are righteous. Um, niglu, that word kind of throws me off. I always have trouble. <sighs> There's a lot of things, um, to, uh, to look and study and more because I've been working a lot with modern Hebrew and I need to be going back to the biblical Hebrew, which I do, um, I do look at that for when I study, but I really want to do an intense study on that. Um, yeah. 
So, that is what I'm doing. Um, and it's been great. I, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, so to give you an idea, this is going to be like the back of the harp. Um, yeah. And... So this is not exactly how it's getting. This is just, um, just how it's looking for the moment. Okay. So there you can kind of have an idea. Soundboard. Then I have this piece over here, which is going to be the top, at the top of the soundboard itself. Um. So this is where like the holes for the strings are going to go along here and of course for the back da, 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 da. have this and I have a column here this column is going to have more added to it for more support it's and you'll see in time so it's gonna go like this on here and then I'm sure you can already tell Blah. um well <laughs> I'm gonna show you right now because then this will fall over but this is gonna be um the neck of the harp, so we'll go on the top. This is these are just support pieces. So, yeah, I've never made a harp before, and I'm just trusting the Lord to get me through this. I have done some research on making harps, but but I've never done this, so it's, it's a whole new experience. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll continue to keep you updated. Um, probably the next video will be um, uh, about like once I've after I've finished carving this side and um, wood burning this side, I'm going to be starting to glue some of the pieces. And so I'll keep you updated on that. Okay. Um, I guess that's it for now. Shalom. Bye-bye.